This is SSPTV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. As the election approaches, we get the latest information on voting in Luzerne County next. Hello and welcome, I'm Ken Karen. I thank you for joining the SSP TV team today. Let's get right to your local information. Do you still have questions about voting in Luzerne County? Here's our Lisa Sugar with a look at how Election Day is shaping up. The United States Supreme Court issued a ruling this week which impacts the Pennsylvania November 3rd general election. I'm pleased to be joined today by Luzerne County Manager David Pedry to tell us what this means. Mr. Pedry, tell us all about this now. What does it mean for Pennsylvania because you're not going to actually get all the votes in until November 6th? Sure. Uh, I mean, listen, we knew going into this that uh, it, we would probably not have the election results on election night. Uh, the incredible amount of bail-in ballots that are coming into Luzerne County, coming across the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, has basically changed the way that we view elections in, in Pennsylvania. Uh, in Luzerne County, we have about 216,000 registered voters. 62,000 of them have already applied for mail-in ballots. Uh, so you're looking at probably maybe up to half of what we, what we normally get. We normally get about, four, about 60 percent of that, that big, big number. So People like mail-in ballots here in Luzerne County. They will be utilizing mail-in ballots, um, and then it will be up to the Election Bureau to count them. So now, in addition to all of this, there is in-person voting actually going on now. There's a couple of different ways to vote in, in Pennsylvania now. The first is obviously go to the polls on November 3rd. We have 129 polls open in, uh, across Luzerne County. There's 129 polls open. They'll be there. Uh, you can show up to vote just like you normally do. Number two is you vote by mail. Uh, you apply for your mail-in ballot, you get your mail-in ballot, you fill it out, you mail it back in, or you drop it off at the Luzerne County Election Bureau in Pen in, on North Pennsylvania Avenue in Wilkesbury. The final way to do it is actually to come in person to the Elections Bureau um, and actually vote right there. So we're starting that right now, and it will be in place until October 27th. Really what this is, is you're applying for a mail-in ballot at the Elections Bureau, they're processing it right there and then providing you with that ballot. You fill that ballot out and then you vote right there. If you have already applied for a mail-in ballot, this is not an option for you. You cannot receive, because you basically would try to be receiving two mail-in ballots. But if you have not applied for a mail-in ballot, th that op office uh, will be open from 8 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Uh, processing these until October 27th. After October 27th, your options will be to either drop off the mailing ballot um, in the mail or, uh, or show up to the polls, just like always. What's been the response thus far? We're slammed. Uh, and, and I got to give it to the, the incredibly hardworking staff of the Elections Bureau. I just assigned uh, six other workers over there just to answer the phones. What we are looking at is an incredible amount of people who have applied by for mail-in ballot. Over 60,000 uh, voters. When you think about 60% of our, of our population normally come out for uh, presidential ballots, that's about half are going to be voting by mail already. Um, and then they get the Supreme Court ruling uh, that says that you can still count the mail-in ballots after, uh, after Election Day, as long as they're postmarked by Election Day. All these things are coming into play here. Um, I think that the, the overwhelming response has been people coming out to vote. And you know what? Around our Elections Bureau, there's a line. Uh, all the way down the block of people coming to vote. The standard uh, waiting time is between 60 to 120 minutes. So between an hour and two hours that you're gonna have to wait if you choose that option. It's an incredibly uh, difficult process. It does take time because we're only allowed three people in that office at a time uh, due to COVID restrictions. We're used to doing our SSP TV election night coverage and calling the winners. So we're not going to know what the final tallies are till when, when do you anticipate? You know, in the primary, uh, the June primary, we had about 40,000 mail-in ballots and we put them, uh, we had them all counted by, uh, I believe it was the Friday uh, of that week. So that's 40,000 for Loser and County. Now, I think we're gonna be moving a lot quicker this time. We have a process in place. We've just bought a brand new envelope opener that moves things very uh, move, moves things along a lot quicker. So I think we should be, have the results closer, but really 
across Pennsylvania, I don't see any way you're gonna have the results on election night, unless the, the state changes the law, allows us to start pre-canvassing earlier, but I don't see that happening at this point. So listen, I only have 60,000 so far in Luzerne County. Let's forget about Philadelphia and Allegheny County. They're looking at probably half a million uh, mail-in ballots. So they're gonna be counting them for days and days and they have a lot of people working these things in warehouses and there's COVID restrictions. Unfortunately, what I'm concerned about is if Wisconsin goes one way and Michigan goes another way and the entire uh, world will be looking at Pennsylvania as to whether or not we have who the next president of the United States is, we're not gonna have those results. Uh, and when you don't have the results for days and days, that's when people start thinking, you know, oh, you know, maybe there is something going on. Maybe there's corruption, maybe there's this, maybe, about, like we gotta have the results. We gotta do it quickly and efficiently. Our goal is to get them by election night or as close to it. Um, but I wanna be clear, we're gonna err on the side of accuracy, Lisa. Uh, we're gonna be accurate as opposed to fast. We're gonna get it done and do it the right way. So if they give us the chance to do it the right way, we're gonna do it. Today's news feature is brought to you by Frankie's Pizzeria, located at 3739 Wyoming Street in Hazleton. Every Friday night is all you can eat crab legs from 5 until 8 p.m. Reservations are suggested. You can call 570-454-6000 to make a reservation or for more information. Time now for weather on SSP TV News. And now here's our forecast from the National Weather Service. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a low of 55 degrees. On Friday, it's partly sunny with highs in the mid-60s. Friday night, mostly cloudy with a low of 53 degrees. Saturday, there's a 30% chance of showers before 2 p.m., partly sunny with a high of 64. At night, partly cloudy with a low of 39. Sunday, partly sunny with a high of 52. Sunday night, 30% chance of showers after 8 p.m., mostly cloudy with a low of 43. And then on Monday, a 30% chance of showers, mostly cloudy, high of 60 degrees. Monday night, a 50% chance of showers showers mostly cloudy with a low of 51. The Wyoming Valley Conference Cross Country Championship meet was held on Wednesday. Here's the SSP TV standard speaker scoreboard. Hazleton area's Zach Kiner finished fifth in the boys race with a time of 17 minutes and 40 seconds. The Cougars finished fourth as a team. The standard speaker is reporting that Hazleton area's football game with Wyoming Valley West on Friday has been postponed due to positive COVID-19 tests in the Wyoming Valley West School District. Also due to a conflict with the District 2 championship game, the Cougars match up with Williamsport next week has been canceled. We have our in-depth sports feature coming your way featuring the Tamaqua area girls soccer team. And in the SSP TV spotlight, we take a look at one of our religious shows. And next, our Janine Lasant gets details on a movie called Something Human that was filmed in our area. Good evening, everyone. Here's today's Talk of the Town. The Greater Hazleton Chamber of Commerce is currently seeking applications for the 2020 Business and Community Awards. Applications must be submitted by October 30th. For more information, you can visit hazeltonchamber.org or you can call 570-455-1509. The Pennsylvania State Police Troop N will be having a free trunk or treat community event on Saturday, October 24th from 10 a.m. until 1 p.m. For more information, information, you can call 570-459-3890. The social news is brought to you by Harmon Funeral Homes and Crematory. For information, call 570-788-0977 or go to harmonfuneral.com.